Hello, welcome back to The Road to Good Cooking. Today I am making another one of my favorite summertime treats, strawberry ice cream. It's simple, easy to make, only six ingredients. Get the kids to help you. You'll absolutely love this recipe, I promise. Now let me show you how I put it all together. For this recipe, I'm going to be using frozen organic strawberries, and I'm also going to be using uh, sugar-free strawberry preserves, and that'll bump up my strawberry flavor, plus it'll give me a little extra red coloring to my ice cream. And I'm going to be using my mini uh, food processor. No sense in digging out the great big one for this little small project. Okay, from here, everything is going to be pretty much self-explanatory. I'm going to post-chop my um, strawberries because I do like little bits of strawberries, little chunks in my ice cream. Um, you can puree it however, you do it whatever you prefer. But I do like a, little, a few little chunks in my ice cream, and that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be quiet now, put on some music for you, so sit back and enjoy. And here's my cream mixture. I had it in the refrigerator for about two hours. And when I took it out of the refrigerator, I whisk it, um, re-whisk it again to make sure that all the ingredients were well combined. And I'm gonna fold in my strawberries and blend it um, together with the cream. Now, one thing about adding the strawberry preserves, it really did in intensify the strawberry flavor. Plus it gave me a little coloring so I didn't have to add food coloring uh, to the ice cream. and. Uh, at this point, this is where you taste it to make sure that you got the, you know, the sweetness level like you like it. I tasted mine and it tastes, it's just fine for me. I mean, if you like a sweeter ice cream, just add more sugar and, um, you know, make it according to your taste. You see, I had two spoons just in case I had to adjust the, the um, sugar, but I didn't. So from here, it's going right into the ice cream machine. It's time to churn some ice cream. And we're done. I let my ice cream go for about 19 minutes and I did that because it looked like it was doubling, I mean really doubling in volume and it was trying to crawl out the bowl on me so I stopped it so it wouldn't run over. Um, it's soft but I'm not going to worry about that because I'm getting ready to put it into the containers and then it's going to go in the freezer overnight because I do like my ice cream a little bit firmer. So, But at this point you can eat it. It's considered soft serve if you like soft serve ice cream. I prefer mine just a little bit firmer, so it's going in the freezer. So let's get to packing.
Okay, I thought I had enough for two containers. Um, this is so weird. I mean, it, it looked like it was growing when it was churning, like I had way too much. I had more than two quarts, but I actually didn't. So it looks like I have about half a bowl left here and it's not worth uh, freezing it. So I just put it into a ice cream dish. Hmm, interesting. And here's how I uh, store my milk. I buy my milk by the gallon because I make so much ice cream. But um, my freezer is full now. I have four quarts of ice cream in the freezer and I don't want this milk to go bad before I make the next batch. So I, I measure it out into two cups because that's usually what I do. I'm making, when I make ice cream, I make two, um, two containers, two quarts full, which is about two cups of, you know, the chocolate milk and the, and the whole milk. And then I put them in um, vacuum sealed bags and from here they're going into the freezer because I am not wasting any milk. I'm not running back to the store if I don't have to. So this is a way to um, store it and then I'll have it ready, already pre-measured. I take it out the day before I make it, let it thaw out in the refrigerator, and then I'm good to go the next day to make ice cream. So, um, you know, during this time of this pandemic and things, sometimes you run out of things in the middle of the month and you go back to the store to buy it and it's out. I'm not trying to do that. I hate going to the store if I don't have to. So this is a way that I can um, actually, I can save it and then it'll be ready for the next batch. So no worries. I put them all in individual bags and I put it in one big bag. And when I need it, I just go and grab me a bag of whatever I'm making, whether it be chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream or strawberry, or whatever, and it's, I'm ready to go. See, plan ahead. Don't be wasting milk. Ain't nobody trying to waste no milk and waste no money. I'm just not gonna do it. I shop once a month and I, you know, try to get everything I need for the month. And if I run out, oh well, <laughs> oh well. Everybody's nice and snug down there. There's my ice cream, my three quarts of ice cream. And some meal preps for next week. Good to go. I just had lunch and like I said, I saved out that last little bit that was in the container and I'm going to have that as my dessert for lunch and it is absolutely fantastic. It's only I only left it in the, in the freezer for about an hour so it, it's firmed up enough for me but that's okay and um, it really, oh it's super tasty. Sunday was Jerry's birthday and in his memory I made his favorite dessert and he liked his strawberry um, ice cream with a uh, chocolate drizzled on it and I mean I just put a little bit on there but he would cover his the entire bowl with chocolate and so here that's for Jerry with its strawberry st strawberry ice cream drizzled in chocolate it's not bad it's very tasty I mean you know it's, it's chocolate and strawberries are match made in heaven <laughs> pardon the pun didn't mean that baby <laughs> but it's super good and your kids will enjoy it and it's just the right amount of sweetness for me it's not overly sweet and it is so enjoyable and if you're new to my channel welcome thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend some time with me and i hope you enjoy this recipe it will not disappoint the kids will absolutely enjoy it your whole family will enjoy it your friends will enjoy it which is why i make so much ice cream <laughs> I'm telling you, once you start making ice cream, you'll have friends all over the place. So um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And I hope you're all staying safe out there and wearing your mask and washing your hands and social distancing. And we will get through this. No worries. We will get through this. Thanks again for stopping by. Be blessed and keep on cooking.